Hello YouTube. So today I wanted to take a look at this M12 gun motor carriage from Academy. This is probably one of the best Academy kits I've ever had. So first we'll have a little look at the instructions here for the M12. Here we have the painting and decal sheet. This is the one I built, number one. It's St. Lowe, France on July 1944. Then you have St. Lowe, 1944 again. This is the Avant Le Char de Mort. This is Corregidor, which is, uh, I think, a very well-known uh, vehicle. This one's called Adolf's Assassin. I can't, can't this is lazy. I can't read it. This one's called Alberta Fear. They're all in olive drab, the, the olive green color that they used back then. Now, I always keep the instructions so if something gets broken, I know where to put it. I have a box full of instruction sheets. You see, so. We start with the suspension, road wheels, the sprockets. This has bogies. And you assemble those parts onto the hole, the bottom of the hole. This has a big fold out sheet in here. Now, this had an interior which you can't see it's all covered up and only the driver's hatch is open so you can see a little bit but it's really really hard it even comes it has the engine transmission and everything now you could I guess you could leave the top plate off if you wanted to really show it to, to detail and paint the interior and then have it shown just leave that top plate off in the front so it's viewable because it has a really good interior, which doesn't come often on stuff. And then here, yeah, is this is all the interior. And then the, then here, number six starts the upper hole. It has some hatches. Uh, fuel tank cap here. The, the armor, well, that's like a, what I read, like the engines in the front, they put this, they can take this plate off and work on the engine, this piece here. I saw that on another YouTube channel, actually. <laughs> I don't remember who it was, but it was really, like the German tanks, they had to take like the turret off and do all this crazy stuff just to get to the engine and work on it. But here they could, they could just, take this plate off in the front and they were, they were already on it. And here, number eight, some outside details. And you have the track here by number seven. And number nine has a good instruction sheet. And here you have the some more, some, 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 some uh, storage boxes, small ones. This is like a that's a piece that keeps the track from falling out. The the uh, the gun the thing that holds the gun. And here you have the fork or the spade. It was it has a lot of parts to it. A couple fenders here in the back. The ammo seats for the crew, more ammo on the other side, then you have this rack here, then you assemble the gun, it's the gun tube actually looked pretty good I thought for a plastic, here you have the, the cradle and everything, the base, and powder bags and stuff. 
so it's a pretty good looking instruction sheet. Probably the best model I've ever had from Academy, really. But it's old. I can't even tell you from when it was, but it's probably sometimes in the 90s. So next we'll take a look at the parts. I mean, at the model. Not the parts in this one. Um, has some nice decals. In good detail. I'm not so sure about the gun mounting here. It looks right, but it's like... It's the only thing that's really... Not so great, it's kind of loose. But there's a lot of details here. I even come with the little this ram thing for the the, the the powder bags. You can see here inside it comes with a lot of different ammunition. I did some checking. There's different colors for different types, so I made a combination of smoke and HE. It also comes with these... I'm not sure if I got this right because I, when I got it back from America it was a little broken. So I tried to run the cabling here the best way I thought for the ramp. <coughs> Avant the char to march. <coughs> you have good I mean, I, I I looked at what that meant, but I forgot now. Something about burning and death. And the M12. Gun motor carriage is the predecessor of the the M40, which is the more the more known gun motor carriage for World War II. Um, this was like a this was like a uh, between between the M7 Priest and the uh, the M40. They they built the M12 off on the chassis to the um, the M3, they used the M3 chassis. And by the M40, they used the M4 chassis. That was really the only difference. The rest of the gun system, I think, was pretty much the same. You can see here, it has a the travel lock, which <laughs> is so thin. It doesn't lock in there, it just sits there. The gun traverses in both directions up and down. And it doesn't have a large traverse area, but it's pretty good for a good, good motor carriage, I think. You can see the, the gun tube. I built this thing over 20 years ago. I wasn't so worried about um, filling in stuff. But the decals went on a few years ago after I got it back. I had the decals after all these years still. But you can see I I, I put uh Microsol and Microsoft on, but they still had some silver ink. I think I sprayed it too. The fire extinguishers.
The tracks could be done better. I didn't weather them enough. I didn't weather the whole thing enough. I, I was. I had a lot, got a lot of models from home. And I was trying to go through them and redo as many as I could. This is one of them. I had a new paint job, repainted all the details. But then I stopped and didn't do any weathering. But there's a couple more. M163, I think. There were a couple more that I redid. A couple of them I had to throw it away. Well, that's the M12, M12 gun motor carriage from Academy. I think it looks pretty good. It's a nice kit. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.